What's good YouTube, Dino here, and thanks for clicking on the video. I just real quick want to say thank you for 300 subscribers. It's insane. I don't know how we did it, but my KBD67 Lite video just sort of blew up. Very unexpected, but that's great. So I'm making another video about the KBD67 Lite because those thousand views sounds really nice. So... Let's get right into it. All right, so today I'm gonna be showing y'all a couple mods that you can do to your KBD 67 Lite to make it the best it can be. So let's get on with the first mod. So the first mod that we are doing is probably something that you have heard of before. It is a silicone dampener for the case. I've seen a lot of people do this before for their tofus, but I also saw keyboard, Scott K, I saw him do a silicone dampener in his KBD 67 light. So we're going to try it out. The first thing we need to do before we do anything is cover up the USB-C port. All right, so we have the... USB-C port covered up. So now that we have the case prepped, we can make the silicone. So all I have to do is pour the A and B evenly, one to one ratio. Next step is to stir for five minutes. One eternity later. All right, so we have stirred it up. So now it is time to load into the keyboard. So, now what we are doing is pouring this. All right, now we leave that to dry and I'll be back. All right, so the silicone is now dried. I have lifted the tape over here, or it's not, it's hardened. I lifted the tape over there and it actually feels pretty weird. It's hard, but it like still sort of feels liquidy. It's hard to describe, but I just want to see how this affects the sound of the KBD67 light. Now, the next mod that we are going to be doing is very well known in the community nowadays, and it is known as the Tempest Tape Mod. It is very simple and cheap, and it's literally just putting tape on the back of your PCB. I'm going to be putting three layers of painter's tape on the PCB. And now the next step is the stabilizers. Now I definitely recommend grabbing some Duroc V2s, which is what I did. And I wholly modded them, which you should check out the video that Hamaji Neo did on it. I am going to be using my wow stick that I got off Amazon. Honestly, it is an amazing purchase. It just makes it so much faster, and it is definitely very convenient. So, as it turns out, I'm actually really dumb, and I need to take off the tape mod to put in the steps. Now, the next mod we are doing is the PE Foam mod. I really like the sound that the PE Foam mod generates, so the mod we did is PE Foam. I think it, it will sound great. Now, we just put on the silicone dampener like normal. And now here is the next mod. You can go with the standard polycarbonate plate if you really want. But I decided to pick up an FR4 plate from Hype Keyboards. And I think that it will definitely help the keyboard. I love the sound of FR4 plates. And I think it is going to be way better than the polycarbonate plate. And it has really nice flex cuts. And it looks beautiful with the gold and black. So let's put on the top. Alright, so since this keyboard is a budget kit. I decided to go with some budget switches and budget keycaps to go along with it. The switches we are using are Akko Lavenders. They are currently my favorite budget tactile switch. 
All right, so now that we have all of these switches in, time to put on the keycaps. Real quick, I just wanna say apologies. I lost the I key, so I'm actually using a one. It's not even the same layout, but I think that just glancing at it, you can't really notice it. I am also using my Koi Fish Resin Artisan keycap. I think it looks really nice, so I'm using it. And just like that, we're done. This is a insanely nice build for around $250 in total. And honestly, I love it. This is great. I'm definitely going to be using this a lot because it has my current favorite tactiles and my favorite keycap profile, actually. So without further ado, let's drop a sound test right about now. So thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that you can mod your KBD67 Lite to make it sound as endgame as that one. And that's all for now. Peace out, guys.